Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to be taking an extended look at Super Mario Odyssey running on a Yuzu emulator. Now for anybody who has tracked the progress of this Nintendo Switch emulator, especially so on my channel over the past few months, you would already be aware that this game is already fully playable from start to finish, albeit at slightly lower performance, especially so if you are using a lower tiered or older CPU than the one I am using an 8700K. So in this video, I'm going to be looking at how the game is running, what kind of bugs you can expect to experience when you're playing it for the very first time, and how you can alleviate some of these bugs. The first major bug that pretty much every player at this point in time is going to experience happens at the very start of the game unfortunately, and while yes it is completely unavoidable at least as I said at this point in time, there are some workarounds that you can do in order to alleviate these bugs, this is the exact bug I am talking about, when you get into this looking around tutorial your game is going to completely turn black just like this. Now, pretty much the only way you can fix this, at least at this point in time, is to just progress through gameplay. You're going to need to wait for Cappy to run away in fear, and once you get control of Mario, we're just going to take a look around the environment to see exactly what has happened. So once we look out to the skybox, you can see that it has basically been flipped upside down and the fog is now appearing in the sky. The easiest way to somewhat fix these graphics is to simply pause your game and unpause it and while yes, the graphics are still going to be slightly corrupted, well, not exactly slightly corrupted but very corrupted, it still gives you a semi-playable experience. I'm going to show you a little bit later on exactly what causes this graphical issue. So next, all that you have to do is basically just run through this kingdom and you're going to have to progress through to the next cutscene happens. So let's just follow Cappy through this kingdom. You're also going to see that my performance due to this graphical corruption is going to be fairly negatively impacted. Usually in this kingdom, as you would have seen in a few of my previous videos, I am generally in around 55 or 60 frames per second. However, due to this white mess, the skybox being flipped upside down and pretty much all of the other graphical corruptions, we are getting a very poor performance in this area at this point in time. So next up, you're going to have to progress in through this next cutscene where you meet Cappy for the very first time and when he becomes your companion. I'm just going to fast forward through this just so we can get on through this video and take a look at the next bug you're going to experience and exactly what you need to do to counter it. Okay, so now that we're through this cutscene, we're going to progress into this central hub area and once again we're going to encounter this famous NV deck bug which happens pretty much every single time any tutorials come up in this game. So as with the last time we got graphical corruption, all that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to pause your game and then just unpause your game and your graphics are going to be somewhat fixed, at least fixed to a point where you're going to be able to play the game and progress. So basically what is happening with this bug is every time you encounter a tutorial, you can see that this little box in the right hand corner of our window is popping up. So this tutorial itself is supposed to be a little video preview and this preview is supposed to be rendered using NVDeck which is a video encoder. Now at this point in time, NVDeck is currently not implemented in Yuzu Emulator, meaning that pretty much every time it is called, almost in any game, it is going to cause graphical corruptions as you can see in Super Mario Odyssey. Now our screen whiting out there wasn't actually a graphical bug, it was just our camera actually clipping up and interacting with the white mess which is actually our fog which has been flipped upside down due to this bug itself. There is in fact an easy way to fix this bug, all you have to basically do is load into a different area. For this use case we're going to be entering into Cap Tower and then once we return to this main hub area, this graphical corruption should be fixed. So all we want to do is break the seal on this door, enter the tower and then we're going to see exactly how our graphics are rendered. Now once we actually get inside the tower, you should see that the graphics in here are perfect. Yes, you can see that they are indeed perfect, but next what we want to do is we want to return back out to the main hub area of Cap Kingdom. And there we go. As you can see, now that we have returned into this area, after progressing into a different one, the graphics have been completely fixed and this world is now being rendered exactly as it should. 
Unfortunately, as I said, every time you encounter one of these NV deck tutorials, as I'm going to call them, you are going to get this exact same graphical corruption every single time it happens, and these tutorials happen quite a bit in the start of the game. Here you go, once again you can see that the little box has popped up signifying that NV deck has been called. Once again we're going to have to pause our game and then continue. Our graphics are going to be semi-fixed, meaning we can progress, but the graphics will not be fixed unless we once again load into the next area and actually complete this level. This next graphical issue can actually happen in many kingdoms and pretty much at any time you perform this action, but for this circumstance we're going to be looking at it happening right after we perform our very first capture of a frog. This bug itself is very very odd considering that it only happens when your graphics are perfect and when you pause your game. As you can see, once you pause your game, it can completely break your graphics in certain scenarios. Pausing and unpausing once again can slightly fix it, but as you can see, regardless of how many times we pause and unpause, sometimes we just cannot fix it. And you can see that the bloom around Mario's character model and pretty much any edge in the game is going to be completely broken, like you can see around the water right here. As before, the only thing you can do to fix this is to simply progress into a different scene or load into a different part of the level and then return to the same part in which the graphical corruption took place. To do this in this area, we're going to have to just get to the top of Cap Tower where when I exit as Mario, you're going to see that once again, the bloom around him is completely broken and regardless of how many times we pause or unpause, it's not going to be fixable. Now sometimes you can fix these corruptions by coming to Emulation, Configure, turning on Use Accurate GPU Emulation, click OK and sometimes this will fix some of these graphical issues. Unfortunately with this one, all it does is reduce our performance down to around 20 FPS away from 60. And and in this circumstance, as I said, it didn't fix the bug. If you do get some graphical corruptions and pausing the game doesn't fix them, try to do this as it might fix your issue. So let's just grab our health top up and next we're going to break the seal on this door and proceed once again into the next area. You could already see just as we are loading that the graphical bugs had fixed themselves and once we come through to this area you can see that this is now perfectly being rendered. So at this point all we need to do is basically proceed to the top of Cap Tower, beat the boss, and then we are going to be finishing the level and proceeding on to Cascade Kingdom where we're going to take a look at some other issues that occur there that are very similar to the ones we see here. Performance wise, you're going to see weird performance drops, especially in this area. You can see I dropped down from around 50 down to around 35 FPS. This is due to the fact that the very top of Cap Tower, especially when looking back towards the majority of the rest of the kingdom, is very performance demanding. Okay, because I don't really want to show any boss battle spoilers, I'm going to be skipping this boss battle and after it we're going to get to this section just before we travel along the electrical conduit to Cascade Kingdom. So here we are, just after the boss fight, the conduit has appeared and all we have to do is, well, after grabbing this coin, we just need to jump onto this conduit, throw your hat at it and then you will be able to proceed to the next kingdom once you have gotten through all of this shader compilation stutter. So skipping forward in time, here we are, we have successfully arrived in Cascade Kingdom. Some people on my Discord and on Yuzu's official Discord have reported that when jumping onto that conduit in Cap Kingdom and trying to travel to this one, their game is soft locking or crashing. I myself, now on any of my systems, if you're not aware, I test on many systems. I test on a 2500k base system, I test on a 3770k base system, and also on a 4690k base system, and on any of those computers, I have not experienced the crash that has been reported to me. So once again, we're going to get our compilation stutter, but here we are, we have successfully arrived in Cascade Kingdom for our first Power Moon. So in this area, the only issues you're really going to encounter is the weird bug that we already experienced with the tutorial NV deck pop-ups, and you're also going to have probably a very poor performance, at least at this point in time of this emulator's development. So as before, when we encounter this NV deck tutorial, you can see once again, it has popped up in our bottom right of our window, we once again get this weird bugged out graphics. 
As before, all you need to do to fix this is to pause your game, select continue and once you get back into gameplay, your graphics, for the most part at least in this kingdom, are going to be completely fixed. Now there is some weird graphics still rendered when you encounter this weird tutorial bug, for example when our camera pans around here a little bit after we throw this powerman in, you can see here that the T-Rex in the background, he has this weird shimmering graphical effect which shouldn't be there at all. You can see it a little better at this angle and as you're going to see when you pause and unpause regardless of how many times you do it, it's not going to fix this bug. The only way to completely remove this shimmering bug is to save your game, then you're you're gonna have to close the emulator, then reload the emulator and reload your game save. I've done exactly that, coming back into our title menu, I have come to options, data management, load and as you can see this is the exact same area. So now as before I'm going to come back to this area, I'm going to get the exact same weird NV deck bug, except this time when I pause and then unpause my game you're going to see that the graphics on the T-Rex are now for some reason inexplicably fixed. I'm not exactly sure why doing this fixes it, it just does and to be honest, if you're looking for a way to fix the graphical bugs, that's the best way to do it. So as I've already said guys, this emulator is still very very new and even the fact that we are anywhere close to this kind of rendering and performance even on a top tier CPU like mine is absolutely mind blowing. As I've always done guys, every time there's any kind of significant update to this emulator or anything you yourself need to know about performance or getting the best possible experience out of your games, I will make sure to keep you 100% up to date as much as I possibly can. If you're having any trouble yourself with configuring or getting Yuzu emulator set up, you will find a link to my Yuzu complete setup guide down in the description of this video and if you're having any additional problems with any of your games or getting any of your console keys from your console, do not be afraid to contact me over on my discord server, you'll also find a link for that down in the description. So if you guys want to help with the development and support the development team of this emulator, you should definitely consider supporting them. Down in the description of this video you will find a link to their Patreon. If you want to help these guys out, I would definitely advise pledging and supporting them 100%. So once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.